Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today is a match preview. It's Millwall versus Luton Town. Like any other match preview, I did talk about the game of four, and that was against Bristol City away from home. Now I did watch that game on the red button on Sky, and I weren't happy with it to be honest with you. It, really poor performance, poor start to the game. We lacked fight, lacked any energy, and it was a complete different performance from the home game against Fulham. Now the goals which we conceded against Bristol City were poor defensive errors. Not picking up your man, not stopping the cross. Well, it's another cross into the box. And, yeah, we ended up conceding from it. It's poor. It's been the same mistakes throughout the whole season where we keep conceding goals from crosses. It's like the players do not, like, learn in training on how to defend them. But, yeah, it was just a poor performance. I think going forward as well, attacking-wise, was very poor. I don't know what, why Lawala Wa was playing, like, left wing back. I'm not, I, I'm, it baffles me a little bit. It still baffles me that Tony Cliff is still in the team. I don't know what that player offers or what he does. Butterfield, for me, should be starting. I don't understand why he's not starting. Hasn't really had a bad game, in my opinion. And I feel like he suits the way we play. We like to keep the ball. Butterfield keeps the ball really well. So it makes no sense on why Butterfield isn't in the team. Now, I know he ain't a defensive midfielder. But he plays the role really well, and I just feel like he should be in the team. He's miles better than Sunnycliffe. Now, moving on to this game against Millwall. Now, it's going to be a tough game, especially away from home against them, because they are a very good side at home. They, they the, the style of football isn't the best, but it works for them. It's one of those systems where it works for certain teams, and they're like a Burnley type of team where they are really strong to beat. They're very tough, they're very, you know, it's it's the typical Millwall way, I like to call it. And it's going to be very tough to break them down, they're going to be very good. They're going to come at us, because they, like, they're, they're not in a similar situation as us, but when you're the home side in the championship, you're going to want to win your game. So they are going to be looking at this game, thinking, what well, right, Luton are down in the bottom three, we should be getting three points here. That's how they're going to look at it, whereas we're looking at it as, this is a very good, good opportunity to get some point. For us, this game could be even more important. This could potentially stop like the run of like, away defeats, you know, and hopefully it does. Even, I would take a draw away from Millwall. We need something from this game. We need points on the board. I feel like if we get a point away from Millwall, it would give the players some confidence going forward into future away games that we actually can get points away from home. I think our best away performances so far this season were Blackburn and Barnsley, and I was very lucky enough to actually go to those games. But we need to get some points away from home. I think our home form's fine. It's away from home which needs to get needs to change. We need to get some points at. Now looking at Mill's form, they've only lost two in their last 13 games. Now that in itself is is a brilliant like run of form and and for us it's completely different where we've lost so many in 13 games. So it's literally we're playing the complete opposite here and we just got to hope and try and grind out a result here at Millwall, even though it's going to be very difficult. Just looking at Millwall's like squad at the moment, they've got players which I would love to have at Luton. They've got Sean Williams for me, who is a technical defensive midfielder who would fit us brilliantly at the moment. Takes set pieces as well. Very good player, experienced at this level as well. Miles better than Tony Cliff, and I feel like he would easily cause us problems. They've got Matt Smith, who is a goal scorer, striker, wins a lot of headers, so Matty Pearson and Bradley need to be on him. They've got Aidan O'Brien, who is a very good player as well. So they've got players to cause us problems, just like most teams, really. Now, the team selection which I would pick for the game against Millwall would be the same team which played against Fulham, bar one change, and that change would be Butterfield into the side rather than having Tony Cliff. I feel like that system works us perfectly well. I feel like we're competing. And if we just take our chances, cut out like the individual errors, we will pick up points. It's just, the, it's down to the players really. And Graham Jones, he does get a lot of blame. And I know a lot of fans want him out. But it's not all down to him. There's been a lot of times this season where he's made us tactically correct. And the players have let us down. There's been a lot of games where we've com we have been competing. And we've only lost by that odd goal. But it's been down to the players. The players are not doing they're not doing it themselves, you know. They need to get over that barrier of that they are playing in a high level and they need and they need to cut out these silly errors. But I don't think they are, and that's why I do think we need to bring in a lot more players in, in January. And I will be making a video on that this Thursday actually. I'm gonna be making a video on what positions I think we need to like recruit in for the remaining of the season because 
trust me, there's a few positions which I feel like we definitely need to recruit. Otherwise, we're, de we're not going to stay up, and I really do not see it. My score prediction for this game against Millwall, I'm going to go with a one all draw, just like the game at home where we got a one all draw. I feel like in that game itself, we should have won it. You know, we had a lot of chances to win it and we didn't. But instead, we managed to get a late goal from McManaman. Hopefully, this game against Mill, we we are going to compete. It's going to be a complete different performance from the game against Bristol City. And there's going to be fight. There's going to be energy. And we're going to create some chances because that's what we didn't do against Bristol City. But there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Drop a like if you did. Comment down below your thoughts heading into this game against Millwall. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.